You just cannot beat that feeling of saving a load of money on your brand new golf clubs. But in 2021, when we're doing more online shopping than ever before, how can you tell if they're real? How can you tell if they're fake? Let's do it, and let's do it now. I really had no reason for the TSI head cover, it was just the first thing that came to mind. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys, welcome back to a very, very, very different Short Game Saturdays. In a way that it's not really a Short Game Saturday, as you may know Chris is still away sunning himself, apparently getting some work done over in Dubai. So today I'm going to talk you guys through something which I think is prevalent in 2020-21, rife in 2020-21, and another word which I'm not quite sure what it means in 2021. Guys, just really quickly before we get into these points of how to spot fake golf clubs, I really want to turn this comment section into a bit of a thread to help people, because a lot of people will be thinking, should I buy this, should I not buy this? They'll search in Google fake golf clubs and this video might well come up. So if you've got any experience in it, if you know for full well some things to look for, if clubs are fake, if clubs are real, if it's any brand in particular as well, please get in the comments and let people know. I'll try and reply to it as well, but hopefully it's going to help people save money and not get conned out of their hard-earned money. Let's get back to the video. So there's never been a better time to buy golf clubs online. A lot of us are in lockdown, a lot of us have been in lockdown for a long time, a lot of us can't go into our local shops, our local PGA Pro shops, and buy or test or try new golf clubs. So we go online, we go to eBay, we go to all these kind of online stores to try and find the best deal. This is where sometimes we mess up. You see, I've got a bullet point list here of tips how not to get con, not to buy fake golf clubs, how to tell the differences. And the first one, it's almost like anything in life. If it sounds too good to be true, it looks too good to be true, and it feels too good to be true, guess what? It's probably too good to be true. So the first point is have a look at the price. Have a look at prices of things. Have a look at prices of the drivers, the irons, the putters, the wedges, even the golf balls, and see if it's not only competitive, but if it kind of blows it out of the water, and you've never really heard of this place before, then it may well be too good to be true. There may be an offer on, it may be a bit of a loss leader to get you onto the website to buy some other stuff that you don't particularly need and don't particularly want, so you spend more money on that, so you end up getting loads of stuff you don't want for the same price as the thing that you did want. That's potentially, isn't necessarily a fake golf club, but something a lot of companies do to try and get you there to spend more money. False golf clubs, fake golf clubs, imitation golf clubs. We've all seen Rick's video of the fake M6, which was quite staggering, really. And you can actually be left a little bit red-faced if you save, say, £100 and it explodes. So that's probably the first thing to say. Needless to say, a lot of people don't believe in golf technology. They think it's all a myth. They think that these golf clubs don't get any better. There's no difference in any of them. If you've hit a fake golf club, you will know it's a fake golf club. It sounds totally different, it feels totally different, it doesn't go as far as it should, it's just not what you want to be buying. So I heard someone once say, I'm going to buy a fake one because it's £200 cheaper and it's exactly the same. That was the reaction I gave to him. So make sure that you don't think that they're going to be the same. It's okay if you want to go and buy a cheaper set to learn how to play golf and you don't want to spend a fortune, go and buy a cheaper golf club, a proper golf club, an official golf club that's been tested by R&D departments and not put together God knows where by God knows who, like in the space of a millisecond. So the, the second point I'm going to get to is be careful where you buy from. We all like buying from eBay, we all like buying from Amazon, we all like buying from these places that you can kind of save a little bit of money and get quick delivery. eBay especially, be very, very, very careful. And it goes back to the price argument that we had a few seconds ago. If the price isn't really there, we see a lot of Scotty Cameron putters online, but Circle T putters, things like that. We see them online for really, really good prices, but then if the Circle T putter should cost $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, and it's on at $100, is that going to be, is that too good to be, does it sound too good to be, does it look too good to be true? It's probably too good to be true. Also, there's a couple of things which you kind of pick up as well. So I know that a Scotty Cameron putter does not come with cellophane or shrink wrap on the head. They don't. They never have done and they never will. So if you see a Scotty Cameron putter that's for sale with shrink wrap on the head, cellophane on the head, brand new, still in wrapper, walk away. That is a fake putter, it's a fake golf club, it's not going to be the performance level you want, it's not going to be the feel level you want, it's just not the products that you think you're buying. There's also places like Wish.com, AliExpress, 
I mean, so for example, let me show you something which I saw on Wish.com. I'm going to put this on the screen here now, and you'll see where are we? We are here. First thing it does is 50% off. Um, okay, right, that seems weird. Then I go into the shop, golf clubs, type golf clubs in, and the first things that come with some coats there, limited quality for a dollar. Then we've got these ping blueprint irons. Now you'll see that they don't have the ping logo on them, but they're quite clearly an imitation of ping blueprint irons. And they cost 418 pounds. Now you might think, oh, well, they'll be exactly the same. That's that's good, that's good value. Like a ping blueprint set's nearly a thousand pounds, so it's half the price. Just because they don't say ping on them doesn't mean they're not gonna be good clubs. That's exactly what it means. It means they're going to be terrible clubs. It means the heads are going to come flying off. It means they're not going to last very long. It means the paint's going to chip off. It means that they're not going to be anything like they should be like, quality-wise, spec-wise, anything-wise. Stay well away from anything like that. If you want a good set of irons for £418, go and buy a second-hand set and you'll get a good quality set of irons for £418. Also, also on these websites, you'll see some that just like give the game away straight away. They look nothing like the actual product. They've maybe been styled a little bit like it and they'll try and pass it off with a similar name. I don't need to tell you guys that that's not gonna be anything like what it should be like. So stay well away from anything like that. Just, again, just spend your money wisely. I was almost lost the words there. Spend your money wisely. Don't get suckered into these deals because they're not deals. Let's go on to the next point. You can tell I'm quite emotional about this because my dad once got conned for a, an R7 super quad driver and it was terrible and he was really, really annoyed. And that company all of a sudden vanished when they sold a load of these drivers to people. So I remember how angry my dad was at the time and then he just went and bought the proper driver. It, so, it suckers so many people in. If, you have, if you've ever been sucking in by this, don't feel bad. Like it, I think we're more, we're more savvy to it now than we ever have been. So. Hopefully this video helps you. Guys, also, I was, I was, I'm going to put this in the start as well, but make sure you get in the comments below, and we're going to get a thread going of how to spot fake golf clubs. So if you've ever been caught, and you know why you've been caught out on something like that, then get in the comments below and let us know. And if anyone does want to go through this thread, then you can kind of say, if you're in an R in about something, is it fake, is it real, which is going to be our next point, then you can look in the comments, and hopefully there's some helpful points in there. Next point, which is a really good one, actually, it is check Facebook groups. So especially I'm thinking more down the road of Scotty Cameron Putters, things like that, where there are specialist Facebook groups for these clubs. I'm a member of loads of Scotty Cameron Facebook groups and there's really good, there's good banter in there. There's good kind of product knowledge in there. And generally people are there to help each other out. So I've seen so many things like this, where people are just saying, is this real? Is it fake? It seems too good to be true. And what did we say about if it seems too good to be true? Nine times out of 10, when people post that on a Facebook page, they already really know that the product's fake and the product is probably fake. And don't be too ashamed to put it in there. Like if you don't know, just get it in there. The worst, worst thing that's gonna happen is a couple of guys are gonna have a laugh and say, no mate, that's fake, save your money, which to be honest, doesn't seem like a bad thing at all, does it? A real funny thing with like the Scotty Cameron community as well is like head covers. People will buy head covers for 50, 60, 70, a couple of hundred pound, and they might be fake. Like, I'm not a huge, I mean, I, to be honest, when I was younger, I used to collect them a little bit and have them all on show, and I kind of grew out of that a little bit. But a lot of people still love the Scotty Cameron head covers, the Scotty Cameron putters, have racks of them and stuff, and you've got to be so careful. I almost couldn't tell the differences between the real Scotty Cameron head covers and the fake ones. It really just comes down to the quality of the stitching, the quality of the insides, the label inside, all these things you have to check for. And you might be watching this video thinking, well, a head cover isn't exactly going to skimp me, and I don't really care but if you do care, then hopefully that's gonna help you. The next point is look for that obvious build quality. Like if you look at a putter and Scotty Cameron spelt wrong, or we're gonna go away from Scotty Cameron's now, because it's not a primarily Scotty Cameron video, although it is Short Game Saturdays, so I've tied it in nicely there. Go follow Chris if you want. Test at one foot only. So from here now, I just want to make a motion. Don't have to if you don't want to. You can proper tell just by looking at the quality of the paintwork, the quality of the craftsmanship on a picture. So if it's that bad on a picture, they can't even take a good picture of it, then imagine how bad it looks in real life to save yourself a hundred dollars. The thing is they don't sell, they almost try and sell them sometimes at what looks like a realistic price. And that's where a lot of people can get caught out. People generally know that if it sounds too good to be true, you can answer that yourself. So a couple of points just to finish on, always ask to try them if you can. And you might be surprised here because a lot of companies will do 
trial clubs, they will do. Most shops who have accounts with brands will get sent trial gear. They'll get sent gear to people to take out on the course and try, they can use for fitting. If it's a local shop and you're kind of well known in that shop, you've spent a bit of money with them, ask if you can try one or ask if you can just have a go with it. It's not necessarily going to help you at like an American golf or a Dick's Sporting Goods because they're not going to be selling fake stuff. But if it's like a local golf shop that you're not too sure about, definitely see if you can try it, see if you can go in the net with it, anything like that. And the last point I'm going to finish on is if you can, I know it's a very difficult time at the moment, it's a difficult time for everyone, stick to your local PGA Pro. I did a video with Gaz on this and Gaz's point, because Gaz does a lot of sales, he really, really enjoys kind of fitting people for golf clubs, getting in, in the right golf clubs and obviously selling them the golf clubs. And he said, we'll be at any price. We will be at any price. We'll, we'll make sure that they get the right fitting. We'll make sure you get the right service and we will give you the cheapest golf that we can possibly give you. If your PGA Pro is like Gaz or like Alex at Huddersfield, stick with them because you're not going to get, realistically, if you go online and try and get a better price than that, you might be getting the wrong spec, so it's pointless anyway. You might be getting a fake golf club, which is what this video is all about. And what happens if something goes wrong with it? That's like a premise of, I know a lot of people who watch my videos do support their local pro and I think that's fantastic and kind of hats off to you, just got out of the shower so we'll put that straight back on. But guys, apart from that, hopefully that's helped you a little bit with not buying fake golf clubs. If it's too good to be true, that's the premise, it probably is. Apart from that guys, thank you so much for watching. This is, it's quite painful to say actually, one of the last, well, the last video in here. So. Let me know, do you want to see a tour of this office before we go? We're going somewhere special, so I've, I'm well aware I've not done a tour of the office, so if you do want to see a grand tour of everything that we've got on the wall, let me know. Uh, and hit that like button as well, like 1,000 likes and we'll do it. I'll probably do it anyway, so 1,000 likes, it should get there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave us a like, check out the new channel as well if you want to. Um, that's got the dog on it and Laura, so they're, um, they're loving it. And I'm loving it as well, so probably more than them. See you tomorrow. Oui.